now going to talk about ah oh crap and mm, oh crap this is so hard oh my god how the hell did you clear that no we're going to pass okay slow down please oh yep we're not gonna make it we made it we are we barely made it Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So in today's video we're obviously we're obviously playing Equestrian game and I'm going to take you along on a Grand Prix competition where I well I think I'm going to do quite a few and kind of tell you all the tips and tricks. So yeah, that being said, let's get into the video. We're definitely going to, um, we will definitely go on one on a pony. Um, so we have Harlow here. She's a Connemara, so she's good at jumping. And, and a lot of people think that it's like impossible to make ponies jump well. So the all that matters is that their strength and jump are at least uh, like seventy. Because Harlow, um, she can clear a jump, and same with debutants here. Um, they both, the debutants has much better, quite a lot of better side, but she's a crossbreed, so yeah, she has the jump of a warm blood and the strength of a fjord. So, but it doesn't happen all the time. Sometimes uh, the foals take like the worst things from the parent. But anyways, yeah. So I bred her specifically to be like a good Grand Prix horse. So. Yeah, what was he even saying? But yeah, that it's just she still probably won't clear a jump if um, the verticals, I think they're called in the Grand Prix, obviously. She so um, neither debutants or Harlow probably won't clear a Grand Prix vertical when they're going at two bubbles of steer, so speed is very important still, but it's also very important for the horse to have like good stats because you obviously like you can't jump a horse um if it's if it has bad stats and if it's and if the horse is short for example like ponies uh the stats have to compromise for that so um for example we have then henrietta she is still a horse but Mm, as we can see, she's 51, so that's pr pretty short, but as you can see, she has really good uh, stats. Like 83 jump and 61 strength, so these two... So these two stats are the most important. But if a horse is in normal height, like a regular, um, she is 16 hands. As you can see, she has even better stats, but you know it's much it's much easier. You can go faster, and a horse will still clear the jump. But with shorter horses, you have to have really good stats. Well, not really, really good, but just like decent. As I as I said, if the height is small, if like, if the horse is short, like the stats have to compromise, and obviously you can't go like five bubbles to. To a vertical as um, a horse of like a hundred jump or just like a good jump stat maybe like April could clear that you know she's like 83 but anyways guys we'll stop while we're talking now so I think I'm gonna take um, maybe Juliet no I think actually I don't know I'm definitely gonna ride the spana because it's she's very hard to ride because as i said she is shorter and but henrietta is too and she has good stats the problem is not like her stats or how short she is is that uh, she's balanced and she speeds up and because she's short even though she has very good stats you still have to go really slow over the jumps if you want to clear them i mean i'm talking about, about grand prix so yeah um, and obviously she speeds up, and I'm like at zero bubbles, and she speeds up to two bubbles, and working counter, and then she knocks jumps. So that's why it's hard with her, but I like to challenge myself. <laughs> so we'll go with her, and probably with Bok or two. Yeah. Mm. So going to use Bok as 
plan that oh shit it's still to come Bokhor is fun because like Bokhor is just an example of kind of a perfect horse he has good height like he's 70 in hand so yeah good strength really good jump yeah he is like an easy horse and I um, personally I prefer horses that slow down um not like I still don't mind, but I used to like really, really love it. Then like just couldn't stand when the horse speeds up, and I still can't. I don't know, just like it's weird, guys. I know everyone and their mom likes feisty horses. I don't. Um, I'm talking about it, so yeah. I'll probably st stop yapping now. And for a pony, I think I'm gonna use Harlow because I just got her to Grand Prix. Okay. So first we're going. To Grand Prix of, I don't know actually. Oh yeah, and did I imagine that the span is my whole bread? <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, we will go with Blockwork first. Now, mm, there was like a tricky course. Okay, I don't know which course is the hardest. So we're just going to go with the one that has um, the most jumps. So we're going to go with Blockwork first. Start off with the easiest course. Oh yeah, this is the one, this, this is the course with a lot of twists and turns, so we're going to do this one just to challenge ourselves. So, um, with an easier horse, I like to go uh, faster over the jumps, like two bubbles, as you can see, he has no problem. Always look out for the next jump, and over these, I think these are called boxers, um, you can go like up to three bubbles, or we'll actually see if we can go get away with four. Mm. He that was close, but and what I like that maybe um, an accident I went too fast into jump and then he slows down that he clears it, but it could have affected negatively when um, I'm at very low speed, like on one bubble, and we're going next to an oxer. And he, oh, yeah, no, I'm like at three bubbles, for example, and then like he slows down to one bubble. And then usually the knock off the first bar when it's a big horse, like a good jumping horse, and they usually like knock down the ox or the first bar. So yeah, now I'm going to talk about ah, oh my god, I can't believe we could hear that. Um, about what I do in between the jumps. Oh, he, yep, he knocked that down. So I like to go to max speed right over the jump, like. Mm, check <laughs> and that's and I think responsiveness is really good and turnability too is like very important and then right before the jump I like to slow down to like two bubbles depends on the horse again and yeah we did have a pull because I went too fast over an oxer well it's not really that going I don't know just sometimes a clear sometimes not it really depends on the situation Okay, that was very bad, but I think you got everything, guys. So, yeah, very important. It is hard uh, to learn to go to full speed, like, in between the jumps. This is, like, a very twisty, turny course. So, may maybe in the Pony Grand Prix, I will go to the other one. But, yeah, with Aspana, um, if it's one bubble, she jumps over. But if it's more than one... Um, ah! Yep, this happens because then I go want to go to trot, and I mean yeah, I want to go to trot, but then sh then I don't have enough time to get into the canter. So it's very hard to jump her. I think I'm kind of giving myself a bad reputation of having a pull two times in a row. So, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah, she barely jumps that. That she barely jumped that too. Because, I mean, it's obviously harder to do everything when you're talking. So, yeah, go to max speed with her. Obviously, you have to go slower because of her height. Slow down. That that one was kind of perfect, just like a bad angle, but usually it doesn't matter. Again, full speed, slow down just before the jump. And when you learn this, this is this just comes to you automatically, and it's very important to do the course quite a few times. So you know all the turns, so yeah, they can obviously like cut corners, and yeah, and it's important for a horse to have a good turn ability, so they can, so you can actually go in full speed and still turn pretty fast, as you can see. So, yeah. Oh well. 
I mean, in ponies, like, I, I probably won't get away with having two bubbles. I, see. I don't know if you could see, but she barely cleared that. Two bubbles in the working counter, like, it's... Yeah, so now I'm going to show you what I mean with the ponies. But I still do uh, what I do with normal horses. But it is harder with ponies, but I think my hardest sort of jump is a span, so that's why I showed her. So, so just like, yeah, I think I selected... Oh no, this is another course, but this one is, is, is uh, twisty and turny too, so... Yeah, it's even worse if a pony like speeds up, because obviously um, she barely cleared that in zero bubbles, but that's what it looks like in every pony. I still... Um, go max speed in the corners and but like with big horses normal horses like bakor that like obviously jump well or good height good have good stats um the the usual the you will usually knock the first bar of oxers if you're going at zero bubbles so that's why i always try to go at least two or one or two bubbles so oh, you can see I'm going uh, max speed and then slow down. I don't know why, but like, canter. it looks like then they're cantering, the canter a bit and, and then, then it takes, like, um, they don't go to the back like shot some, immediately, so that's reason, not good when they do that. To if you saw that, I'm going to be a now. That point, like, I, I, we would have started to jump, but she went to trot, so that was kind of bad, because, like, the reaction to my little adjustment, if it would have happened immediately, I would have kicked her, or maybe pressed the counter button immediately, and then would have cleared the jump. So, yeah, it's, I don't think it's, if it's a bug, or it's just, like, a horse problem, but, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's too cool to full speed and guys like I've been playing at EG for like more way more than two years. I started playing in the in season three, which was the very first Kyoto season, and sorry for my voice being weird. But yeah, like guys, like this took a long time to master. Actually, I don't know why, but like in all horse games, I like I don't want to brag, but like I get good quite um quite fast so. I don't know why, uh, but I, I like to consider myself cracked in this game. I'm, I'm very good at it, G, <laughs> because I spend like most of my time on it. Now we're going to do all of these courses again, but hopefully we will actually clear them this time because I'm giving myself a very bad reputation. So we will start with Horvo again with the same course. <sighs> So I think if you have any questions in the comments, guys, please comment them down. Uh, so guys, if you have any questions, you can definitely comment them down in the comments and I will definitely answer them because obviously I'm not that big of a YouTuber and I definitely heart on all my comments. Well, unless they're like a hate comment. Yes, yeah, see, I literally went in one bubble and she knocked it down. Why? Because she's a pony. See, I, like, I usually go at zero bubbles and jumps. Okay, we will see. Oh, yeah, this is like a shorter, but like, see, three bubbles and she knocked it down. This is like an experiment. How do I actually like, stop yapping and I'll do them quietly and you will see it will then leap good. Uh, like, normal jump. Oh, she cleared that, but she doesn't always, you know, it just like really depends. Two bubbles. Clear the jump, but I don't know. It's just like very, ponies are very, really unpredictable. So, yeah, see, this one is a big one, and we barely cleared it, so, yeah, you really have to have good stats when you're jumping a pony or a short course. Okay, now, I think I'll exit the course, or, yeah, I think I'll finish this, and I'm going to um, leave them in normal speed, but just, like, with music and not talk, because, like, I need to show you guys if I know what I'm talking about, like... <laughs> I promise, like, guys, I promise I'm good at the okay? okay? I promise, okay? I literally have, like, a lot of horses to... Okay, two ponies to Grand Prix. How much, like, what got into Grand Prix? Then I have 11 normal horses in the Grand Prix. And then the Breeders' Cup, I have... um. 
and the the and the illusion Frisian quarter horse, well, Schaub the Grand Prix, but and Jack Ward, for example, um, he has he's a fusion and he obviously has not a good jump, but still has a little jump bonus, but a really really good strength. So that strength kind of compromises for the jump, and he still when they um, ride it like a pony in the pony cup, or it's like re really slow for the verticals. He clears the course, you know, like... Okay, I'll stop yapping now. I hope you guys understand what I was saying, but... Yeah, let's do this. Let's not embarrass myself. Okay, not to toot my own horn, but see, I focused and I got it. It would be kind of, I think, I'm not sure if it would be easier with debutants, but she has um, a bit better stats, but you yeah, see, Harlow is just like a Connemara from the market. Okay, like, she is not that fancy, you know, I'm, she is not like a horn to the breast, but yeah, there you go, believe it or not, now, <laughs> um, going clear in the pony section, even without a crossbred is possible. <laughs> so yeah, not sorry for like tooting my own horn for like so many times in this video. But, like, <laughs> okay, we will do the course with Walker and this one now we will see. I'll, ch I'll put, definitely push for speed when I can. Guys, please don't ride like this IRL. <laughs> like, don't pull on the horses now. But obviously, this is a game, and we are pushing for speed. And I just need to stop yapping because I will have a pull. As you can see, like I know the course well, so know that I can cut the corner so much here. That's why you need to have a horse with good turnability, because obviously if you want speed, you want to be going max speed around the corners, okay? Like, that's pretty good. And, I mean, I selected, like, a harder course on purpose. Mm. But yes, it's easy. Well, for me, it's easy, but I promise you guys, like, you just have to, like... I promise you guys, you just have to... 
um, try and try and like practice and yeah practice makes perfect definitely an ITG Man, but obviously we need to have a good horse but you know we will need to focus so I won't yap with you guys oh crap this is so hard please don't speed up you little you little no oh brains oh my god how the hell did you clear that <laughs> good girl That was a rescue. Change your leg. No! Ah! No, what the flip? Ah! How did she clear that? Honestly, like, me, I'm so surprised. Okay, I need to, like, actually focus because I'm going to have a pool again. Okay, don't you dare speed up. She did dare to speed up. But she still cleared it, so, like, Come on! It's so stressful jumping. Small horses. Oh, yep, we're not gonna make it. We made it. We are. We barely made it. Why does did you want us to go all the way the, around there? Like, oh, we oh, mm hmm. Okay, last combination. Make sure to have a good speed. Yes! See, I can't jump. Hey guys, so that will be it for today's video. I know it was like kind of chaotic, but still hope that you enjoyed it and yeah there is loads of raw footage so yeah and like all my screens are just like <laughs> anyways oh we yeah. have a little dressage moment oh look at him he's so cute such a saint but honestly love this region way too much like who does love regions anyways yeah hope you still enjoyed the video even though like i yapped more than half of it and yeah, hopefully you can jump better in ATG now. 
So yeah, don't bore him you now. Um, please be sure to subscribe because we're so so close to 500. Like oh my god, guys, I don't think I see this now, but thank you so much for all of your support. Like it's still kind of insane to me that that many people like watch my videos. Um, so yeah, guys. Definitely so boring notes, but thank you so much for all the support and please like guys five more subscribers or something to 500 Can we do it, please? Hopefully like we have hit it by the time this video goes up, but I will just go edit it Go edit it right away. So, okay, I actually need to stop talking. Bye